What's up everyone? We're about to do a 30 minute full body sculpt workout. Today I'll be using two 10 pound dumbbells. We'll have some movements with weights and a few movements without weights. Also be including your warm up and cool down in today's routine. So grab your mat, grab your dumbbells and get ready to sculpt. All right, let's get into our warm up. To start, we have squat and knee drive your alternating side. Here we go, send those hips back, shoulders down, let's do it. Step those feet wide, arms out to the side. We have side bends. Go to reach overhead and back to center. All right, forward fold, hands on the thighs, shins, or ankles. We have bend and stretch. Inhale, bend, exhale, extend. Good, this movement is gonna look different on everybody, just as long as you're feeling that dynamic stretch through your hamstrings here. Good, let that head fall. All right, come on up. We have heel reaches. Good, kick your foot behind you. Let's pick up the pace and get that heart rate up. All right, grab one dumbbell. We have step out squats, three in one direction, then three in the other direction. Good, for our workout, we have 45 seconds on and 15 seconds rest, let's go. All right, take a rest. Next up, hold the dumbbell like so. We have squat and twist knee. To intensify, you're gonna press out during that squat and twist through that core. Here we go. All right, grab your other dumbbell. Let's do some upper body. Palms facing you. We have underhand overhead press into an Arnold press, rotating the palms to face forward, then bring it back. Here we go. Press, good. Press, rotate those palms forward. Arnold press, start again.
good. Holding that core. Nice, steady base here. All right, next up we have a deadlift. Slight bend through those knees here. We have row. And then come back up. Here we go, flatten out that back. Row, I want you to hold and squeeze those elbows back for a second before you release. And come up. Hold it, squeeze it. Good. Working that back body. Nice, into the hamstrings as well for that deadlift. All right, next up we have reverse lunges. You're gonna do a little pulse, pulse, step together, switch sides. Let's go. Pulse, pulse, and together. Good, really slow it down for those pulses. Good, super big step back for that lunge. Nice. All right, ditch those dumbbells. We have plank walkouts, hands about mat width, two push-ups, and come back in. Here we go. Walk out, find that plank position. And a reach for the sky. All right, next up, create an 11 line with those forearms here. Alternating side plank, little hip dip, and then you're gonna switch sides, open up to the other side. Woo, let's go. Hip dip, you've got it. Other side, open up. Good, pulling those shoulders down and away from the ears here. Nice and lengthened through that upper body. Nice and strong. All right, you're gonna lean back. We have two leg lifts and then pulse lean back, work the core. Here we go. Good, challenge yourself, lean back a little bit more. Woo, feel the burn.
coming to your back. We have four crunches, hands behind the head. And we have four squirms reaching for that ankle. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Keep it up. Reach for the outside of your ankles. Here we go. Lift up high. Nice. All right, let's stand on up, grab both dumbbells, get straight into it. We have a sumo, slightly turned out with those feet, take them wide, bicep curl, stand on up. Here we go to modify, just do single arm bicep curl or curl upon standing instead. Good, keep that open chest. Make sure you're not punching forward on that squat. Sink those hips down and back. Good, shoulders down, you've got this. This is a toughie. Woo. Keep those knees pressing out for that sumo. Okay, dumbbells together. And we have four overhead tricep extensions, then four bent arm lateral raises for the shoulders. Here we go. Good, avoid splaying those elbows out to the side. Keep them in alignment. Good, really control that extension here. Work the triceps. All right, get rid of one dumbbell. Ooh, this is a quick paced workout here. Squat, then reach and press. Squat, reach and press diagonally up. Get into it. Okay, step outside lunges. You're gonna have the dumbbell in one hand, switch it to the other hand. To modify, you can always just hold both hands onto that one dumbbell instead of switching. Here we go. Get it, really getting that heart rate up. Nice. Good. Try and sink through those hips a little bit more for that side lunge. Good. Nice big step out.
All right, get rid of that dumbbell. Come down onto your mat, onto your right elbow. We have clamshells. Open up through that knee, option to lift the hips for a challenge. Here we go. Good, keeping shoulders and hips square to the front here. Make sure you're not splaying it open. Good. I want you to find a little hold and squeeze at the top of the movement. Squeeze through those glutes. Good. All right, you're gonna switch sides. Same thing, just flip around. Here we go. All right, we have commando planks. Down, down, up, up, two knees. Whew. Here we go, ready for a challenge. All right, find that flat line. As always in your plank position here, two knees, work that core, good. Alternating what side you start with, if that's not too confusing. Good. Good, you've got this. Keep going. Woo. Grab both dumbbells, come onto your back. Bring those dumbbells together. We're gonna do press. Here we go, breathe it out for this one. Exhale, press, inhale, bend. Good. Catch your breath. Good. Press those dumbbells together. Adding that extra resistance here. Good, press them towards one another. Resist through your chest. All right, you're gonna rotate the dumbbells so that the palms face away from you. Put the dumbbells together. You're gonna inhale, bend into a skull crusher. Exhale, extend to modify. You can always just use one dumbbell. Here we go. Good, work the triceps. Nice, make sure those elbows are staying in place about shoulder width here. Exhale to extend, you've got it. Boop. 
All right, you're standing on up. Ooh, taking both dumbbells with you. And we have suitcase squat and rise. So your feet are parallel for this one, a little bit narrower. Here we go. Good, and rise those heels off the ground. Good, find your balance, work the calves. Good, really make sure you're sending those hips behind you, weight is into the heels, so you can get a little bit lower into that squat. All right, next up, we have half curl, open, close. Working those biceps. Here we go, palms up, half curl, open, close with that rotation. All right, we have two lat rows, keeping it narrow, and then two rows, taking it wide, palms facing you. Okay, lean forward, bend through those knees. Good, lengthen that spine, nice. Neutral through the neck. Good, so you're gazing down. Really focus on drawing those shoulders, those uh, elbows back. Dropping one of your dumbbells. Step back with the left leg. We have press. Step together. Stick with that same side for this interval. Step back with the left leg. Find that lunge. Press, hold through that core. Really pull it in. Step together, release. Press, hold it strong. Pull those ribs down and in. All right, same thing, but we're gonna do stepping back with the right leg. Dumbbells in the right hand. Here we go.
Okay, keep that single dumbbell here. You're gonna press cross, press cross, knee and knee. Woo. We're actually getting our heart rate up quite a bit for this workout. Here we go. Good. Working into the core, some standing abs for this one. So really think of engaging through your center. Good crunch for those knees. All right, put the dumbbell down. Come into your back. Bridge position here, single leg. So pressing into that right leg here, you're gonna extend, then lift the knee and hips. Here we go. Extend and lift, really press into that heel. Good, engage the glutes, keep the hips square. All right, you're gonna switch sides, plant the left leg, and you're gonna move that right leg here, out and in. Okay, extend, bring it in. Good, same thing on this side, you are digging in through that heel to help drive those hips. Nice, drawing that knee in will help you tuck under with the pelvis a little bit too to help you isolate those glutes. Good, lift those hips. Woo, almost there. All right, next movement, you're gonna extend those legs, crisscross, lower them down, and bring them back up, working the core. As always, pressing that low back down into the floor. Keep it attached. Here we go, crisscross, lower those legs. Good, pull that core in, keep breathing. Good, second to last move here. You're almost there. Okay, final move, flip around. We have shoulder taps, hover those knees off the ground and do step out, step in. Here we go. All right, core is strong. Shoulder taps, out, out. Find that flat line, in, in. Good. Make sure you're not lifting those hips too high off the ground. For that knee hover, keep those knees quite close to the ground. Good, challenge yourself for this final movement. Ten seconds.
All right, amazing work. Let's come into a child's pose, knees together or knees out wide. Reach forward, let's cool it down. Drop the forehead down, relax into it. Flip around, extend those legs. Take the left leg, bend it, take it up and over. Right arm crosses into a twist. Good, press that elbow into the outside of that leg here, creating a bit of a pretzel through the body. Good, unravel, switch sides. Bend that right knee, take it onto the outside. Left arm comes on the outside here, twist it out. Good. Your back arm is resting there for support. Good, press into that leg to help deepen into the twist here. and unravel, extend those legs, take an inhale, and exhale, fold forward, reaching forward, let that head fall. Inhale, exhale, roll on up. Find a seated position facing front and tilt that head to the right. Right arm comes up and over. Stretch out through the neck, drop that shoulder. Let go and circle that head around to the other side. Drop it and switch to the left side. Left arm is helping you with this stretch. Good, find length through here. Release, take a deep inhale and exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale and exhale. Amazing work, everyone. All right, team, you absolutely smashed it. If you felt the burn, then hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and comment below to let me know if you got your sweat on too. See you in the next one.